Hello and welcome back, lovely Gemini. And if you're new, welcome. And I am so grateful, Gemini, for all of your love and support as we are going to begin our collective intuitive general reading. So these will be the projections, Gemini, from today, April 23rd, 2024. We're going to take this until Taurus season, and I want to even go until around May 25th with the messages that are coming in today. So Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I'm going to be talking about the full moon that's taking place right now in Scorpio that's happening uh, in our sixth house. Now, Gemini, I'm using whole sign house systems, and I'm also using the tropical zodiac. This is going to be, Gemini, also here, where the full moon happening in our sixth house has to do with also where the solar eclipse in Aries happened, which was the 11th house. So we're still feeling the energy of the solar eclipse. It's still playing out. So is the energy of Jupiter and Uranus. All of these energies can play out for the next two weeks, especially the energy of the full moon happening in Scorpio tonight. It's happening at four degrees. This is for Gemini Collective. Now, all of the messages, Gemini, will not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Gemini, if you should need any advice or, or anything, you can always reach out to me if you have any questions concerning a private session. The information will be below. This is for Gemini. Let's see what Gemini from the Moonology happening tonight with the Scorpio full moon. And that card. So we have Pisces, 12th house themes. This is where we are also with the 12th house. So Gemini, this is where I feel this new start is coming. Like a feeling here, we go from 12th house to 1st house. And I'll be explaining because this reading is going to take us right to May 20th to 25th. I'm not sure of the date. Jupiter, the planet of expansion and growth, moves into the sign of Gemini. Yes, Gemini our sign for one year. It will be progressing from the 12th house to the first house, the first house of our identity and the 12th house shift of letting go here. And Scorpio's here. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. The Scorpio full moon, it's a time to detach, break free, release the negative energy, Re releasing emotions that have been pent up, that have been bottled up, things that were within, like I feel deep within our emotional body here. So this Gemini is a feeling of there's emotional detachment that's taking place right now, okay? It's a letting go process that we're experiencing. It's a bringing closure. It's, a, it's a, like a me versus we. There could be some harsh truths, harsh endings that we have been processing since the solar eclipse in Aries, which are still both ruled by Mars. Mars is the ancient ruler of Scorpio, so we're talking Pluto. This is like a feeling here, we can't force other people to fix their problems, but the choice for us is very clear. It's time that we face some insecurities around ourselves letting go of any victim mentality that we might have had or a feeling now where we can begin to release. So Scorpio is the sign of transformation, transition, death, and rebirth. It also is representing a transcendence that we can go through now and we're processing, processing Gemini, okay? It's like ending something here like the bitter sweetness. It's a bitterness, a bitter taste, a bitterness that's, that's like a feeling of, in this world, Gemini, that we live in now, like I feel, there's a bitterness in the world that goes on on a collective level, okay? But blessed are the peacemakers. Blessed are those who are compassionate, those who have empathy. Because Gemini, you're going through a major transformation. And this is a part of shedding the many layers of ourself. Like today was a good day to snip, snip. Like I let go of some more hair, right? I did a good snip today again. Uh, today is like a good day, like I feel, to let go of some parts of ourself that are ego, right? Our ego, 
pride, where pride exists, because those are the seven, what some people religiously call it the seven deadly sins or the seven virtues, right? So there's a process here of releasing the negativity. The Scorpio full moon is intense, Gemini. So it's going to play out. There's going to be release, purge, release, purge. So there's going to be some new purges. Like I say, Phil, processing death and rebirth. So there's a rebirth, a renewal that's happening with the new moon. So the next new moon in the sign of Taurus is going to be a culmination where you'll be processing, leaving behind the old past version of you, Gemini, of ourselves as we give birth. So the birth process. So there's a feeling of with scorpionic energy, like I'm feeling full moon. This is like a feeling of a new cycle that's here, something unexpected that could have came in, okay, with Pisces energy here. So it's like bringing things down from, it's like you are the, the, you are the queen or king of the metaphysical world, Pisces, the house of spirituality, okay? Pisces is the 12th house for us, Gemini, where we have been. So this is processing, once again, with Pluto in the 12th house here, okay, with Scorpio. You may have South Node in Scorpio here for a lot of you, or you could have Pisces in your chart also. I know we do have a lot of you who are. So we're dealing with Pisces, Scorpionic energy. Could be South Node, North Node. But the 12th house with the Scorpio energy is processing and bringing closures and endings and healing. So things that were hidden, Pisces themes, hidden things, hidden enemies, right? The occult, uh, sacred wisdom, sacred knowledge, opening up things that were hidden, right? In the realms of the spirituality, your spiritual journey. For a lot of you, you could have been in, in solitude during this time or need a lot of time alone processing, okay? So for a lot of you, this has to do with solitude, karma, it's like cabin fever for a lot of us, I was feeling. This has to do with karma, old age, the afterlife, okay? Like I feel here, this has to do with what's hidden, any limited subconscious beliefs that were deeply embedded. This is also the connection to the divine, to creator, to the living God, our connection. So this is like an energy of also around for a lot of us, this could be healing mental health issues, negative thought patterns that we play over and over again. That, and if this is also has to do with Scorpio, Pisces, the energy processing and, and letting go of any feelings around feeling like a victim or going through any smear campaigns or scandals because hidden enemies is in this energy and this mix that's also here, okay? So that's the letting go here. Now the 11th house could be like I'm feeling here where the Aries solar eclipse happened. All of what I just said could pertain to friendships, to uh, social uh, awareness, social groups that you are definitely awakening higher. This could have to do around areas of collaborations, clients, uh, social networking, people that you are working with in a setting where it could have to do with the health areas, like I feel also, it feels like this does include stepchildren, grandchildren, uh, son-in-laws, daughter-in-laws. This does include in-laws. This does include older siblings, the 11th house here. 11th house is ruled by Uranus for us. So there could be some kind of a scientific also, I want to say with this new start, a scientific new beginning of advancing here. So I'm feeling advancement on this new beginning for us, Gemini. This could have to do with a breakthrough when it comes to medical technology, uh, asking for help, networking. Uh, this could have to do with new, collab, new collabs, new gatherings, new group setting, new information, innovation out of the box here, Gemini. So this new beginning, like I feel that's beginning, that's starting, it's going to start around like I feel the new moon in Taurus here. It's like you're getting ready to anchor something in. It's like bringing the metaphysical into the physical here, okay? Like I feel you have the Pisces energy, which is that 12th house, which is the house of spirituality highlighted here. So I have a lot of notes, Gemini. So it feels like there's a lot of room for problem solving, 
or being able now to uncover and release something that was hidden, okay? Because Scorpios like the forensics, it likes to go where things were hidden, okay? So like I feel, this could be something here that's coming out also. And the past could have come out or it's coming out. Calling out all crooks, thieves, and liars. When it comes to do it, clearing out or bringing in new uh, energy coming in because there could have been like you're preparing for the greatest version of yourself, Gemini. Because somebody here could have got fired. Somebody could have got called out, okay, when it comes to workplaces, business, career, okay, partnerships. There could be something now that you need to cut off now, Gemini. When it's time to release the negativity, cut off toxic people or cut off that limited contact, okay, to people here or places or things, wherever this resonates for you. Like as we move into this new rebirth, this new beginning, this is like a feeling of Pisces, Scorpio. These is, they're ruled by the house of Neptune and Pluto. Very emotional, very watery. It's like your GPS, trust vibes. The vibes won't lie here, okay? So it could be like the house of the hidden is starting to come out. Like this is deep psychological healing. So definitely Gemini. It's like there's some kind of unique Eureka moment that could be coming in for you. Big, big epiphanies coming in around this time. It's like whatever was suspending you are feeling like you were restricted. Now, Gemini, you are not because there's an awareness here, okay? So it can be, like I feel, Gemini, a feeling of letting go of feeling the bitterness or letting go of feeling like a victim here. Because, Gemini, like I feel, you are in control of where your mind goes here. So it's like thinking on a level now that this new start that comes in is because you're shedding parts of you, Gemini. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, yeah, heavy Scorpio. So plutonium energy here. Okay? So plutonium, very scientific. Pluto is, is going to be in Aquarius for the next 20 years here. So this new beginning is going to be very electrified, very empowered, this new beginning. On a personal level, for you, on a personal, it can lead to major breakthroughs and bring in epiphanies and intense healing, powerful, on a personal level, a new beginning, and empowered you. And more empowered, more enlightened you. Like I feel right underneath it. Show the world what you got, Gemini, the star. Now let me say this is the notes I, I was getting. And this was the feeling that I wrote down, Gemini. You are preparing by working through these spheres and cutting off toxic people and limiting your contact, preparing for your greatest version in your life, okay? So this is the feeling, Gemini, like around the greatest performance of your life. This could be you're very famous, you're very seen behind the camera, okay? You could be on camera, for some of you, you're famous, you're a movie star, or you're somebody here, like I feel, Gemini, who's entering a time in their life now with this rebirth, this renewal, Aquarius themes, right? So this is your 11th house themes, Gemini, for us, Gemini, that's being highlighted. And that 11th house is your social groups, network, humanitarian efforts, because Aquarius is the sign of we, doing what's best for humanity, okay? It's about working out of the box, like you can't be boxed in anymore, Gemini. So your light is going to irritate a lot of people, but it's very important for you to prioritize self-care, self-love. This is radical self-love and, and radical acceptance for who you are. You are a star seed, Gemini. Let me say that again. You are a star seed. Now, Gemini, I want to talk about this 11th house theme for us, which is the house of advancement, rewards, new friendships, new social awareness, new technology. This is the house of hopes and wishes here, Gemini. Okay, connecting now in your community new clients, social networking. So this could be the feeling of Aquarius now, Gemini, where you're blending the waters. It's like you're washing your hands of any negativity with this Scorpio full moon. And it's time for you to stand up for yourself, Gemini, and take back your power. 
So there's a major purge, but there's a major healing here, Gemini. Your wishes are coming true here. So there's a wish fulfillment. There's a feeling here of your work that you've been giving, like a humanitarian, uh, a feeling of unity consciousness that you have here, Gemini, okay, is being recognized. And you're needing to work through some, some energies of releasing and purging. But the Aquarius energies got us backed up here. So let's get some more energy through. Whew, that was a big message. What do I want to get for Gemini? So let's start, Gemini, with shuffling the deck from the wisdom of the oracle for us. This is for Gemini Collective. I don't want to pass this up. So there's some messages here from wisdom. So let's talk about the exciting news of what's coming in May for us. We have Gemini, the energy of Jupiter enters Gemini on May 25th, 2024, and will be there until June 9th, 2025. These are like lightning strikes of insights, genius ideas, big, big epiphanies here. Now, Gemini, this is the greatest performance of our lives the next 14 years. Now, Jupiter will be transiting from the 12th to the first house. So for a lot of us, Gemini, it will be there for one year in our first house. This could be the key words for us, Gemini. Like I'm feeling you can come back to this video. Like these changing changes that you're processing right now, Gemini, these changes could happen for the next uh, like six months or so. This could be during like the October Scorpio season when we get that new moon in Scorpio here. You will see how far you have come. So let's shuffle. It feels like these are the notes I took. It says about the improvement now in your life on your sixth house, which is Scorpio's highlighting. Okay, this is your day to day. So these key words can help you to understand your job or your responsibility. This could be you're taking a leadership role now. You have the ability, the learning, the hands-on management skills, motivation, driven. This has to do with planning, problem solving, your skill set, and time management. Okay, the next half of your life, Gemini, will be defined with what you choose to make of this magnificent transit of Jupiter as it enters Gemini. And this will be the meaning of your life purpose. And it's a filling here, Gemini, of definitely it's going to be around connections, soulmates, partnerships, um, leading to great love. You know, the penguins here and the penguins made for life. So this is about mates that you attract now, Gemini, that will be with you for a lifetime here. This is the next 14 year cycle that's here. So it's attracting sacred unions, coming into that balance when it comes to love, emotions, unified love, unified partnerships, people that have the same vision. You'll be in harmony, Gemini, is what I'm feeling here when it comes to connections and love. There's something here that is not finished, not done yet, unfinished symphony. So there could be a cycle here, Gemini, where there's a lack of closure, okay, that you're processing when it comes to relationships, okay? This could be a filling here now, Gemini, with number 10 and number 41. So I'm saying 4110. Let me get some water. Something here stable that you have a new beginning here. There is a reset here that's taking place in your life, Gemini, okay? Something here that's very meaningful. Now, the energy I'm also feeling when it comes to things here where in this connection, there's something here that could be coming back up because we're finishing Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde ends on the 25th of this reading and it will remain in Aries, more of that fire energy until May 15th, okay? But this is a time now, Gemini, to move forward. There's something here or, or some connection, it's a number 10, 10 represents closures, endings. You're processing this, okay? So if this has to do with connections when it comes to the heart here, relationships, there could have been a feeling here of reconciling here or, or reconciling your differences. But we'll see what's coming in. So I'm gonna leave those there. Now I wanna start with 
this a Gemini. Okay, let's get the tarot. I'll read those cards at the end of this reading, but I want to start with Gemini's energy from today to full moon in Scorpio. This could be de definitely Gemini about your soul's purpose, your career, money finances, because Gemini, this is a time now to prepare. So letting go and making room as you purge and release, you're making room for prosperity. It even has a feeling like excitement's coming in with this new moon. It has big, big possibilities for evolving. It brings in growth, expansion. Like I feel, six of swords at the bottom of the deck. So we're clearly, there's, there's a feeling here of moving on, moving forward here. Seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, like I was feeling, you go with air. So you could be dealing with a lot of energy of replaying back things from the past here where people played you or you were in a situation when it came to career money where there was crooks, thieves, liars. Mentally, in the mind, these were things that were rep being replaying. Seven to the six of swords. So it was like taking a time back, like re going back into time about a situation. Yeah, something was very unfair that was done in work and career and it was brought to the light. Leo energy, Libra. So you could have like a feeling here for a lot of you, you're finalizing things that have legal matters. There could be a situation like a feeling here of this, whatever happened in work career or on your sole purpose, okay? Your sole purpose, Sun and Leo, okay? It's like whatever negativity was here, you're processing, you're ending, okay? You're closing out a final chapter and you're moving into alignment of success, Gemini, okay? So you're moving into the alignment of keywords, leadership, like a feeling here of this will be the greatest performance of your life. This is a feeling of whatever ups and downs you've had in the past when it comes to, in general, when it comes to your day-to-day, -day, your sole purpose, whatever was done behind your back here when it comes to crooks, thieves, and liars here, okay? You can clearly see with Libra energy, these people were running away from you, okay? And having smear campaigns that were going on. But the universe sees everything here, okay? So this is a feeling of also what I'm picking up on, Gemini. You are very persuasive, okay? When it comes to expansion and growth, as you definitely see the light in the tunnel now, and you can move forward and move direct now. When it comes to relationships, the reading is definitely taking me towards soulmate connection. So this could be a partnership. This could be um, a person that you were involved in when, when it comes to connections here. And it feels like four of wands, page of pentacles. There is a message that's coming and it's going to be an apology. It's gonna be something small. It's gonna be something that's offered to you, okay? When it comes to career, like I feel there was something that did involve the court or the legal, the justice, uh, the law was involved. There was somebody here in career that I feel Gemini definitely here was backstabbing, very envious, very jealous of you. And Scorpio is definitely gonna, gonna say, we are not standing for this. So Pluto's bringing it out into the open. This is Libra, Venus, energy, Venus, and the sun in Leo here. So it feels like there is a new opportunity, Gemini. And it feels like for work and career, it could be feeling like you're signing a new contract, a new bi business partnership, for some of you, you could be even being able to work more from home, four of wands. This could be a home business for some of you here. So it can be like a feeling of this page of Pentacles, Gemini, is very exciting. And you're going to make a clear constant choice, okay? You're clearing out the clutter of relationships, Libra ruling partnerships, relationships. Like I felt, this could be siblings, in-laws. Whatever it is, Gemini, you're making a very healthy, wealthy choice now when it comes to love, the Ace of Cups. There's a gift coming to you from God, a gift from on high. And there's a new beginning, Queen of Pentacles here. You have a choice between two people. So there's definitely, for a lot of you, it could be a choice between two, someone here that's younger than you. But what I'm feeling, Gemini, is with the Queen of Pentacles, this could be relationships, Closing out cycles, soulmates. For some of you, you had a choice when it comes to relationships or a choice when it comes to career or a choice when it comes to your professional 
aspects in life. That Ace of Cups is moving towards something that you're very happy, okay? So let's see two more cards for, for career. Two more cards for career and money. Seven of Pentacles, the world card, one more. Yeah, yeah. You have reached the end of a journey when it comes to your career. Ten of Wands, the hard work is definitely paying off here, Gemini. You might be feeling like you're burdened, like a feeling of you can't see a way forward. The tower with Scorpio, Mars and Scorpio is like a feeling here. Of, you might not want to rock the boat right now when it comes to your career in your uh, money sector. You might not want to, it's, there's something here you're trying to avoid, like you're trying to avoid a disaster. It's like you, you, you have that shovel, right? And you have this golden opportunity right under your nose now, okay? This is all your achievements of what you've achieved in the past when it comes to rewards at work and finances, okay? The world card does signify Gemini, and the tower moment is there's something you can't avoid, Gemini. It's like when you look at yourself now, it's like you have the whole world in your hand, and you know you have the world in your hand. This is connecting to foreign lands, foreign travel, or foreigners, this could be uh, investing in foreign land, foreign country. It could also be, Gemini, you're collaborating now on a world level where you're reaching out to many people of all different walks in life. So it's very clear you cannot avoid the change that's here. This is on a personal level. This could mean you could be holding yourself back from wanting to travel or holding yourself back when it comes to an accomplishment. Uh, the world card is a conscience enlightenment state of mind. It's that you have reached, Gemini, the end of your journey, and you have completed a major life cycle. It says all of your efforts are finally paying off. You've endured hardships and challenges along your way, but these have only made you stronger now, Gemini, and more wiser. There's a long-term project or study or relationship or career that's here. There is major achievement and accomplishment, Gemini. It's like graduation uh, day is here. It's like there's a feeling here of an accomplishing a major goal of yours here. So 10 of Wands. It feels like this is that feeling now of letting go, dropping the burden, dropping whatever feeling was stopping you from taking the necessary action that you wanted to take here. Something's been dragging on here. Okay, yeah. Trying to stop you. Okay, because it was like you were taking action by saying, I got it, I got it, I got it. You were always the person here in career that says, yeah, I've got it, I'm jumping on it. Like a feeling, but you're being recognized for that. You're being recognized, Gemini, for being quick-witted, for being very out-of-the-box idea, very creative, very driven when it comes to what you want to achieve. For some of you, this is your, your business. You're an entrepreneur here, okay? So it feels like, Gemini, the Ten of Wands now with the full moon in Scorpio, okay, on a dark side with the tower moment, right, facing that Mars in Scorpio when it comes to being in a situation where there's no filters, okay, no filters is what I'm hearing. You're about to uncover something hidden here, Gemini, the truth in a situation at work or in career or went around money here, okay. There was somebody here that I feel, Gemini, was definitely making you feel very fidgety or very jumpy okay this could be like somebody here that was like um you know hiding or disguising something from you okay but like i feel gemini you don't have to blend in with others okay you can camel camouflage yourself this is a king of pentacles who's on the desert right so you see the lizard you see the lions okay the fire side of you while we're in Mars, right? Because we're still been in Mars for a very long time, this retrograde has been from March. So you have now able to uncover things that were hidden, the dark side of where it comes from, right? It made you fidgety, it made you jumpy, but now, Gemini, you can clearly see that there's a situation that can't be hidden anymore, okay? It's like something has to come out and it's gonna cause somebody to get fired or a situation where the truth is revealed here, okay? But it feels like you stand out, Gemini, okay? With no filters, you're the real thing. It's you versus them, Gemini. You don't have to be a people pleaser here, okay? Is what I'm feeling here. Now, let's get these cards. 
Like I said, come soulmates can be somebody here that you worked with for a very long time where you become family, you know, soul partnerships, soul relationships. So take it however it goes. There's something here that I feel is being unfinished, and that was the tower moment. It's like you're trying to not rock the boat. You're trying to avoid a disaster. But it feels like it's, it's time to release something here. Okay. Let's see love. Show me love or relationships in general for Gemini. Okay. It's time for you to nourish yourself, Gemini. Service to yourself. Sixth house has to do with health. So a healthy heart, right? Healthy heart. Yeah, the seven of swords doesn't want to get away. You have somebody here that's uh, definitely... Somebody here, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like I'm feeling here. This is <laughs> the liar card, the thief. Yeah, and look at you. So somebody here took advantage of the empress, okay? It was like they needed your energy and you cut them off because you're in the wilderness here. Like I was feeling the empresses here. This is Gemini, definitely. You are ready to receive abundance. You are ready to, re you're very fertile. There's blooming energy of Venus season is here. And the sun and Venus. So if you're Vedic, Taurus, Gemini here, holy moly, three of pentacles. It's all about you receiving big rewards when it comes to the work that you do. The service that you provide here. And you have been taking advantage of. Okay. And like I feel, this is a huge level up for you. Because whoever these people were, right? You have somebody in red here. There was somebody here very treacherous. They wanted to fight for the position that you have at all costs. They couldn't stand seeing your glow up. Your light affected these people. It irritated them, okay? So you're dealing, Gemini, with a lot of unhealed people. Five of swords, seven of swords. So like I was feeling here, yeah, and Libra energy. So when I'm saying love and the sun is out and the world is here, Back to the same energy. And this one, you can't avoid. And that's the truth. The tower moment. Major change, major epiphany, major clarity that's coming in. It's coming in like lightning bolts is what I'm hearing here. Now, what I want to show you is I got to get more water. Drink plenty of water. Gosh, goodness gracious. You are about to uncover something that was hidden energy libra okay energy something here gemini like i feel about you that people are seeing you are very mystique you are fascinating and your aura gemini is filled with mystery and awe you awe a lot of people they're in awe of you you reclaimed your power back now and your surroundings is three of pentacles like i feel this is like VIP. You only work with people who are willing to learn. People who are willing to receive. People who have done the research. People who know what to do in order to receive. So you're very grateful. You have people that are supporting you when it comes to your work, your career, the work that you give, the provided care and love that you give, Gemini. So you are definitely at a higher version in your life now. Like I felt, Gemini. The energy that I was getting for you was, Gemini. This is the greatest performance of your life. This is about improvement. This is about the responsibilities that, that you have now. This is about your understanding of how the job gets done correctly. This is about the responsibilities, which are hands-on also in relationships, in love. They go hand in hand. Money and love, okay? So when it comes to, like I was feeling here, around family members, okay? Uh, In-laws, children, whatever it is here with the Seven of Swords, Gemini, you are recovering. Except the Empress, whether you're a man or a woman here, tells me, you're no longer limiting yourself here. So it's like the service that you provide, Gemini, when the energy that you're radiating out there is deserving. You deserve these rewards that are coming in. Now you have people, like I feel, 
could be at work, could be at relationships here, who took advantage of you. It's very clear. And these people about want to make an appearance back, okay? It's like a feeling here of you, Gemini, are too blessed and not to be able to get you to a place where they can trigger you. Because like I feel, you're every woman, like Whitney Houston says it. You're every queen or every king in the deck here. You've mastered all of these areas. So the rebirth that you're having, Gemini, is coming in from the inside out, okay? There's something here as the time that you went within, okay, now comes without. That means as above, so below. You're radiating success all around you, major achievement here, okay? Whatever smear campaign was going on here about you that was very karmic, like I felt, there's karma here. There's definitely karma being paid back. It's like return to the sender, right? Or the source in which it came from. Because there's something here that was very negative, Gemini. And it feels like, and that's the truth, Ace of Swords. You have a new awareness around these 12th house. These are things that are closing out, endings. Things that were hidden, hidden truths that are revealed. This has to do with letting go, Gemini. This has to do with, like I feel, the house of walls. Like a feeling of, of here, you you got nothing to hide. You could be living in a glass house if they'd like to say so. You're not hiding anything. This is the real you, the Empress. You embody the energies of wealth, growth, expansion, okay? You're somebody here who's abundance. You're being abundantly blessed right now. And like I felt, people can see this wisdom and knowledge. So you have a huge level up in your life, Gemini, okay? And now your priority must be on prioritizing your work that you do, whether this is your, your apparent figure, this is the work that you provide, this is about things that you're passionate, things that you are drawn to, okay? You could be very focusing right now on your career, on your business, on a family business. It feels like whatever this is here, okay, Gemini, is clarity around what was hidden again. You also have like a feeling here with the sun and the world card and the seven of pentacles. You do have like a feeling here of, yeah, six of swords. This is that negative energy, okay? This is a feeling of letting go now, Gemini, of feeling like a victim, letting go of whatever smear campaign this is, people that gave you sleepless nights or people are definitely being in this nightmare energy, losing the connection that they have with you. So you're cutting away now, Gemini, whether it's legal, whether it's an order of protection from these people that wanted to stab you in the back here, okay? And now you're releasing it. There's no need to hang on to any hostility. You've healed it. You are healing it. So the tower moment and the, the, the ace of swords is definitely being mindful, cutting away what needs to be cut away. It represents our mind, okay? It's the monkey mind, right? Somebody here has got a monkey mind, right? They think, think, think all day long about you, Gemini, okay? This is monkey mind. This is the carnal mind. Detaching and freeing yourself from many people that are in darkness, that are rebellious. It's like, Gemini, with Libra energy here that's coming through, you have karmic justice coming in. The universe is assisting you. It's like, Gemini, all eyes are on you. Okay, Ace of Swords here. You're looking through the situations that you're currently experiencing now, Gemini, of anything now that you went through, of imbalances in your life that was unfair to you. In order to maintain this wisdom in your body, this unpolluted from their wounds, their external lessons, lessons learned, choosing your battles wisely. They see the light because they can only see it. They can't touch it, right? Your aura is, is, is protected here. So there's a feeling here of Gemini making a conscience choice now when it comes to radical self-love, self-care, self-respect for yourself, okay? brings that rebirth, that renewal. And they're going to be seeing, Gemini, everyone will be noticing you because like I felt, whether it's far off, distant worlds, foreign travel, you have so many places to go yet, Gemini, and to explore with the Jupiter energy. This energy is gonna be coming through. The sun in Taurus 
season for us Gemini is beautiful. So it's a feeling here of coming home to yourself, okay? It's like a feeling here where there's a major boost or a major in your finances and your love life that's coming in. There is a feeling here of acceptance, Gemini, with that Ace of Swords, accepting what needs to go so that you can reclaim your power back, right? With the Tower moment. It's seeing the light and detaching from that dualistic monkey mind where we have that clear mind, right? Lightning strikes like I was seeing here. What was the message I wrote down? Because I did see this. It's like this Aquarian energy and Scorpio is very electric. Very. It's like those genius ideas because your antenna is now up to God. So you're ready to receive source creator, like the living God's messages of what needs to be teared down so that we can have that clear set of clarity, that mindset of being mindful here. Okay. So Gemini, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and clarify this unfinished symphony, number 10. Sorry. I didn't have the book before, but I have it now. So it's doing things by the book, your day-to-day. The routines, your healthy routines. It's like before you go to work, preparing outdoors, your meditation, your workout, uh, changing the way your appearance is, your first house, your essential well-being, where prosperity is here. So changing your mindset and you're attracting prosperity and abundance. I'm sorry, it's like this car. <laughs> I can't get to the beginning. Oh, here we go. Number 10 is 36. You don't have to go back to the beginning. Whatever I'm saying is in tune. You're, the beginning for you, like I feel, whatever this process is, you have a host, a whole clean slate to build on. Oh my goodness. 